What's up everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we're gonna go ahead and uh, do some do some more cleaning with, uh, we got the uh, our little sink area here in the room. And then there's also the, the bathroom over here. And then uh, make the bed and then uh, kinda do some vacuuming in here. Um, gotta mop in the bathroom over here. Then also uh, gotta clean up all this stuff off the counters, even inside of the bathroom as well. Just like got a lot of dusting to do too, so we got like a lot of dust on the uh, the, the desk. It just builds up a lot, even like on the uh, the TV here. Like you can see like all this dust that builds up so quickly. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and take care of that. And also I got some uh, some laundry over here. Got to take care of. Um, other than that, that's pretty much what's going on in this video. Um, yeah, let's get to clean.
All right, so finally just finished up cleaning mostly everything I could. I know this one uh, is not as much cleaning as there is to do in like the kitchen area, the living room. So there's a lot more to do over there because it's a little more like, very tiny spaces. Like in the uh, the bathroom here, I could barely get the um, like the tripod and everything and like set up perfectly in here. So we got like all like the sink area nice and cleaned off. We got the uh, mirrors looking good. And then here, same kind of thing. Got all this cleaned off. Mirrors looking nice. The tub got cleaned obviously, but uh, <laughs> couldn't show you like the other side of me doing it because I couldn't, I couldn't fit in there anywhere than mopped. Swept and then mopped in here and the toilet was clean. So I gotta move some stuff like back up onto here that is kind of more everyday use things onto the uh, to the counter. There's a lot of things on here that really I shouldn't have been on there, but uh, sometimes you just leave stuff on the, the counter until it actually like gets cleaned again and then everything goes back away again. And then I forget what's the stuff that uh, Bellica uses for everyday stuff on here. I know the towels for sure had to be put down below, but I'll let her uh, put back the stuff that she wants. That's on the toothbrush, the toothpaste, and then deodorant has got to stay up there. So, well, also actually the um, the laundry I just put in the washer. So once uh, I get it out of the dryer, I'm gonna do some folding. So. I'll show you that when that gets done, but like cleaning this stuff is done for now. <laughs> what are you doing? Come on. What are you doing, buddy? Oh, I love you. I love you. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Come on. All right. So it's time to start making the meatloaf. First things first, gonna go ahead. For this one, we're using uh, two pounds. Two pounds of ground beef. So I got this. Then next up, you're gonna wanna have half a white onion. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that diced up real quick and then come back. Okay, so we got the onions are all diced up in a bowl right here. Next up, uh, everything that you're gonna need for this you're gonna go ahead and do the, uh, you're gonna do breadcrumbs. So you're gonna do one cup of these, of the breadcrumbs. And then you're also gonna need milk, and a half a cup of milk. And a large egg. And you're gonna need two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. And then you're gonna need one teaspoon of salt. One teaspoon of basil. And then you're going to use a teaspoon of oregano. You're going to have a half teaspoon of pepper. And then a half teaspoon of some crushed red pepper. Um, so once you get, I'm going to get all of these things inside of this bowl. And then I'm going to add the, uh, the ground beef right here on it. And I'll show you that when I get, I got all that in there. Alright, so you're going to have, this is what kneading means when you have all the ingredients that I've talked about before inside of this bowl and you kind of just like you're mixing it together with your hands so and then once you actually complete like you know mixing this all together you feel like everything is kind of mixed in nice and good you're gonna go ahead and uh, you're gonna remove it from this bowl I'll show you I think uh, it looks pretty mixed I'm gonna grab everything it's gonna stick together right and you can uh, just kind of, kind of, well, if anyone of you guys have seen like a, what a meatloaf is supposed to look like, but it doesn't really have to look like anything. I mean, kind of. Yeah, and you see all the ingredients that you put on there, you can kind of see it, they're kind of poking out a little bit. And then, what you do with this, um, my assistant just laid down some cooking spray. <laughs> uh, this is just to make sure that, you know, it's not sticking to the, to the, uh, the pan at all. Kind of, kind of toss it in there. 
You can you can form it a little bit better too once it's in the pan. But this is pretty much how you want this how you want it to look like this kind of you know. You want it to be a little bulky too and have some length on it. Alright, the camera battery died, but so you see, as you can see, the meatloaf is in its 9 by 13 pan right here. I had to preheat the oven, I totally forgot about doing this, but set it to 350 degrees. So we're going to wait on that to actually uh, get heated up and ready to go. In the meantime, I'm trying to knock out some of this, these dishes I made already. So, Alright, so we put the meatloaf in there for uh, 350 degrees. Um, right in there. And that's going to go for... Um, that's gonna go for 45 minutes. Um, I know some of you may be thinking Meatloaf, isn't that that nasty stuff they used to serve at school? But I promise you if any of you haven't <laughs> tried homemade meatloaf Because uh, Belhika she didn't try homemade meatloaf before but uh, you got to eat it homemade. I promise you like that school stuff that you guys had bad experiences with. I grew up, my mom made the best meatloaf. So, uh, it's such an easy meal to make like during the week too. Like you just mold this together and you throw it in the oven and it's it's so easy. It's a, it's a really easy thing to make too. Um, so we're gonna wait on this to get a little bit closer. Probably in the next like 15 minutes, I'm gonna have to make the glazing. And uh, that's just, ketchup and brown sugar and Worcestershire sauce and uh, after that 45 minutes I'm gonna you're gonna apply the glazing to it so and then for the um, the actual the glazing I made this already but it's a half cup of ketchup and then you're gonna put in uh, I think it was two tablespoons of uh, brown sugar and then you just put a one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce in there and uh, right now we're getting down to two minutes for the meatloaf so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pull that out and I'm gonna apply the glazing to it on top all right so we got the glazing all over that meatloaf right there and now we're just waiting for the uh, it to get to 400 degrees and we're gonna pop that sucker in there and then it'll be done in 15 minutes that easy all right so this thing just literally came out of the oven um, I'm gonna go ahead and like let it kind of sit for a little bit um, we're gonna cook up the uh, all the potatoes that we had from yesterday night's uh, dinner. We had a bunch left because it was three pounds of red potatoes. So we'll have the meatloaf with the red potatoes, and it's gonna be fantastic. It's not the prettiest looking thing, but I'm telling you, this thing tastes unreal. You will not regret it. The meatloaf sandwiches are really good too, so. Alright, we got it plated out. So we got the rip toes and the meatloaf. And JJ doing his thing. I'm gonna eat right now. You like meatloaf, JJ? Meatloaf? Go, yeah, 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 yeah. I love It's time to eat. Yeah!
All right, everyone. Just finished doing the laundry. JJ was highly upset. I took a hanger from him, so I had to give him one back. He loves him. Yeah. You're gonna hurt your mom. Be careful. <laughs> but that's gonna end it for that one. Uh, I got work tomorrow, so I'm gonna take a shower. Uh, got made dinner. Um, and then uh, did my own laundry, and then I did uh, did Belhika's laundry too. Folded that up for her. And then uh, put all those away. So, and then some of JJ's clothes, of course. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's gonna be it. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Say bye, JJ. Say bye, JJ. JJ. Happy calls. He's you gonna wave with the hanger? Oh my goodness! I know. <laughs> Deadly weapon. <laughs>